Hi, I'm Lawrence Schick. I'm the Lore Master for Elder Scrolls Online. And today, you and I are going to be unboxing the Hero's Guide to the Elder Scrolls Online. This is a special collector's edition that is available in a limited run of only 10,000. You can see it's got embossed in gold, the Ouroboros of the Alliances in the cover. And let's, uh, let's just open this up and see what's inside it. One of my favorite things in the game is the fact that it's full of books. And there are books on every conceivable subject in the game uh, and in all the Elder Scrolls games. And one of the hallmarks of those books is that they're always written from the point of view of characters inside the game. And the same is true of the three books we're going to see here in the Hero's Guide. Pardon me, Horatio. So let's start with uh, on the top, there is a little portfolio that you can see embossed. This is a uh, you can't feel it, but boy, it's, it's really, it's like suede, the cover of this. Uh, let's untie that. And inside is the certificate showing you it's a numbered uh, edition of a limited 10,000. Uh, and then down below is a lithograph of the, uh, the characters from the uh, animated trailers. Um, a lithograph uh, is even cooler than a picture. So it's not just a picture, it's a lithograph. Got that. Okay. This is, by the way, beautiful. Um, then underneath that is the first of our three books. There are a total of 272 pages of lore in this. Uh, this particular one uh, is square bound. It's got a leatherized uh, cover uh, with the symbol of the goddess Kine, the Nord goddess of uh, the wind and uh, the de facto leader of the Nord Pantheon. Now, like the lore books in the game, which are written from uh, a character standpoint, this is actually a, a story, uh, much like the art book that came in the, in the collector's edition. Uh, this is a story written from the standpoint of one person, in this case, a, a member of the Fighters Guild named Grundvik Coldfist. And uh, he's going on an epic quest, uh, as you do, that uh, takes him all around. And uh, he goes with a bunch of, of his uh, uh, bloodthirsty pals. And they uh, go around uh, challenging themselves against all the various creatures uh, of Tamriel. And so there is a very detailed and exciting story. And it's chock full of illustrations, um, many of them in color. Look at this one, beating on a troll there. Troll's not happy. Troll's having a bad day. Um, a lot of people, as in Elder Scrolls in these stories, have bad days, both the good guys and the bad guys. But this is a beautiful book. Um, it's got uh, gilt edges, as you can see, on the pages. Uh, and it's got a, uh, a ribbon bookmark. Um, and it lies open nicely. That's the the sign of a well-bound book. Um, somebody who, who loves books that are old or seem to be old, like, like I am, uh, really just love the heft and feel of this book. Uh, here, the second book is sort of bound in a folio with jute, which you find everywhere in Tamriel and use in crafting. And within this, this is all about alchemy and crafting itself. This is Agents and Reagents, The Bounty of Mundus. Uh, and this is by an alchemist named Gargrel Sorek. That's his story in this book. Uh, it's, once again, fully uh, annotated and illustrated in color with beautiful images of the, uh, the plants that you'll find in the game that are used for alchemy. And this is actually useful to the players because it helps you to, uh, to spot these as you're running around the world. Um, and this is, uh, unlike the other one being gilt, this spine is, the uh, edges of the paper are what's called deckled. Um, that's when there was old fashioned pages that had to be actually cut open after they were printed. And so that's what that simulates. So it feels like an ancient tome of Tamriel. So that's just beautiful. And then third, we have another embossed and leather covered book with a deckled edge. 
And this one is the arms and armor of Tamriel, gathering force. So this is another Fighters Guild production. There's the Fighters Guild symbol. And uh, this is a cultural and uh, racial guide showing you the different arms and armor that can be crafted, used, or met in the game. Here's a, a as shown by various champions. Here's the feral Reachman Barbarian Kagarok. He does this all the time. That's what he's known for. Antic dancing. And then the imaginary Dwemer advisor. That's what they'd look like if they were still around, but they're not, and they're not going to be. But if they were, they'd look like this. This book also has, an, has a uh, really lovely sewn binding. Uh, all of the books in this box are just incredibly high quality. Here's a nice full color illustration of some mayhem. These are uh, gonna be cherished heirlooms in your family to pass down from generation to generation, I assure you. Uh, they told me not to use the words investment or eBay, so I'm not gonna say that. Um, but uh, this is, uh, those are things not to think about. Just enjoy these on their own basis because they're wonderful on their own account. So let's look at this again just to summarize. We have the Book of the Arms and Armor. We have the Folio of the Alchemical Reagents. We have the Mighty Book of the Tale of Grundvik Coldfist and his associates. And we have the uh, signed and numbered uh, indicia with lithograph. Uh, and, as a bonus, the map of Tamriel in the box itself. And won't that look handsome on your bookshelf or your coffee table or wherever you're going to display this uh, to the envy of all your friends, relatives, and acquaintances? <laughs>